can see we got something else going on today okay i'm already halfway through there but you see it six element oem now it's not my car it's a friend's car but we just jumped over here real quick said he's gonna put on the intercooler i said fine let's go check out what is going on so today we're putting on the six element intercooler though they have a video out so if you see this and you're wondering if it's better to do it yourself or watch my video go watch theirs because they're more intricate but here is we have six element intercooler which is this giant piece right here you can see it on the side it says six element right there if you hold on man camera work with me here see six element there is a stencil that they have that goes on the front if you want to put their name right on the front of this you can and here is the oem one which is a little bit thinner i mean you can see the size difference on it it's not like double but it's like you know quarter you know i'm doing some a little bit thicker it's not nothing huge it's just much more dense like if you pick this up the weight on that compared to the oem one is a lot more so if you're trying to like drop weight i don't think that it's going to be the case here are the oem hot side cold side silicone you know rubber hoses they do give you some extra ones which are over here see so you get these that come with it branded six element which is fine another one here i don't know what side this one goes on to not yet you got the clamps right here see clamps to put on i mean it's just straightforward it should be fairly simple i mean we got most of this down so just so let me hold on check down here you're gonna notice big openings down there coming to the front grill i don't know if you can really tell but the radiator is kind of leaning because you got to take off things like the radiator support right there that has to come off and you have to basically finesse a lot of this stuff down into this crevice this is the uh cold side you can't really see it but let me zoom in some that is a cold side charge pipe the oem one kind of small no it doesn't replace those those will be coming later and you got to kind of finesse all the stuff in there to fix it get it in there how long is that going to take i don't know what i do know is we're getting started should be there should be done relatively quickly my car is out here his car is out here it's a gr corolla extravaganza okay mine's there his as well check the exhaust we're gonna talk about that later it's kind of a custom unique one but i'll be back i'll show you what else is next when it comes to putting this thing on and later what it sounds like all right, I'm back in the normal under the car situation that's happening. I'm going to show you what we got going so far. So, okay. All right. So this big gap that you see now under this is where the OEM radio is. It's like right here on this side. We're now taking this thing off to get in the six element one. You can check a couple things right here. See this cap right there. That is a, that is a hot side that goes into into the turbo cold side is somewhere i don't know where but listen <clears throat> here's one thing to know this radiator right here this whole entire thing is like resting on that mount that we took off so i would suggest you have a friend family member somebody a jack to hold this thing up because it's gonna take a whole lot to put this up and I mean, it's not terrible, but just so you know, you're going to have to have somebody hold this up. That's the radiator right here. That's the AC condenser up there. If you didn't know, this is another bracket piece that directs the air. And listen, we're going to be there soon enough. Let's get up out of here. All right. And that's again, there goes the intercooler piece that we're going to put on. Those old pipes, bolts there. Now, you won't really you'll be able to see some of a difference down there but once we're done we're gonna go ahead and do a little test do a little drive maybe it might sound different it might not don't i'm not giving you all any promises right it may sound a bit different it may not and if it doesn't listen 
That's just what it is. Y'all gonna have to just accept those facts. <sighs> Listen, one day I'm gonna get jacks, I promise. Because this under the car business, I'm being perfectly honest. It's for the birds. <laughs> I'm out, peace. We got progress, okay, we got progress. All right, let me show you. So, I got the, we got the intercooler in. Hold on, let me try to, try to make some sense of this real quick. Uh, as you can see, and the cooler's in there. Check. Check it right there. We're gonna go underneath the car. And you can see, there it is. So, if you notice, it's not that it's like, well, you know, it actually, that's how much space you have. Like this, it's enough extra that you're gonna get in there pretty tight. You gotta get the radiator mount back on in order to hold up everything. See it all the way down there as well. Nice thick front mount. You can see a little six element sign right there. Like I said, if you wanted to put that whole st stencil on there, which is somewhere in the box, you probably can see it. I don't know if you can see it over there, but it's somewhere in the box. Anyways, intercooler's on. We gotta get the piping on. If you look, uh, you really can't see, but at the very top up there, where the end right there, the silicone hose that I have is gonna go in there to the cold side and then down there if you see that little blue cap right there that is the hot side or the other silicone hose is going to go it goes back to the turbo easy peasy and that's pretty much it i will say this though i will say this let me get up real quick you definitely need to find a friend nothing about this is a solo mission I mean, yeah, you could do it solo, but go ahead and get yourself a jack. Because if you try to do this by yourself and you only got your hands, it ain't going to happen. I'm going to tell you why. Here's a couple things. When you are mounting this back onto the car, these are the rubber pieces here are where the radiator at the very top is guided into, into the basically the radiator top mount that's at the top. There's one on the other side as well, too. That type of thing right there is something that you wouldn't see if you're doing it by yourself. You would probably throw the thing on, bolt it down, and not be happy. Cause you'd come at the top and be like, I played myself. All right, the next thing is probably gonna be us putting this whole thing together, starting the car, see if you hear anything different, maybe take a little bit of a test drive, see what it feels like. I mean, it's just, we're just doing the quick and dirty one, okay? I ain't doing nothing too special. Maybe when I put it on my car, I might be a little bit more intricate, but my friend wanted me to just shoot the quick little video, show what it looks like, six element, this stuff is high quality. So if you haven't tried it out or used it, go and use it. But that's what we did. Put the piece on. What am I gonna do now? Um, like I said, when we're done here, we're probably gonna do a little test drive. Maybe I'll do a little audio, pick up. We'll see what we do. Anyways, peace. Okay, it's done. Put them on. Can't, I'm in the shadows, can't really see me. I mean, the sun is somewhere. Listen, whatever. Now, I'm gonna show you you see the six, hold on a minute, down, there you go. See, see way down there? Let me, let me just zoom in a bit. There you go. See, six element cold silo silicone hose that goes into the cold side of the OEM. And then on the other side, there is another one, really can't. You really can't see it on this side because it's so far down, but if you, eh, nah, you can't really see it. You'd have to be here in person, but down there, far down there is the other hose that goes into the hot side. So that's pretty much it. It's about as straightforward as you can ask. Hold on, I'm, I'm zoomed in way too much. Hold on, let me back, let me back it up. That's it. It's about as easy, as simple as you can ask it to be. Though I will say this, there's a process of putting on this intercooler that they do not speak to, and it is not the easiest thing. Remember, you gotta hold up the radiator shroud when hands, your hands are dirty for a reason. You gotta hold up the radiator shroud, you gotta put in the piece at the top, you gotta make sure those things are aligned, you gotta get the shroud in. Listen, there was a moment here where things were a tad bit difficult. We're gonna go for a little bit of a test drive, I think. Everything's cinched down. I know they talk about checking for boost leaks and everything, but the hot side silicone hoses and the cold side are pretty much on as on as they can be without you damaging something. 
So there you got it. Intercooler from Six Elements thrown on real quick. Nothing too technical. I'm gonna link their video if you really wanna see the real technical step-by-step -step design of how they do it. But maybe I'll do it and I'll throw it on my car or whatever intercooler I put on. I don't know yet, but anyways.